I used to feel like I had to be the perfect woman. You know, my hair had to be perfect, I had to smell perfect, my makeup perfect, or else I would not be able to go out and I'd be way too insecure to function. I used to carry that with me, that insecurity. I used to carry that with me all the time. And it's just an immense amount of pressure to put on yourself. There is no perfect. There is no perfect. I love everything about my body. I am so proud to have the body that I have, you know? And I think that I would have never been able to experience that feeling had I not transitioned. Imagine waking up in the wrong body. I was just a kid who wanted to have long hair and wear girls clothes, but I just so happened to, you know, follow what my mom told me to wear. I didn't really have an idea of male and female roles. And, and once I graduated, I'm like, all right, screw it. I guess I'm just gonna have to like, I guess be like, live my life as a gay dude, I guess. Like, I don't know. And going out into the scene, I learned what transgender was. I learned about the drag performers. And that kind of opened up that conversation within myself. Like, is this possible? Like, can I actually do this? I was 25 and I'm not gonna be truly happy with myself unless I transition and unless I go through this process. See, I had a plan. So I went on RuPaul's Drag Race because I was such a successful feminine, uh, just exuding this feminine sensuality, like as a drag queen, I was super popular for that. Literally the day after I got home from filming, I started my transition. So by the time the show got started, I was six months into my transition. By the time I started to tour, I was a year into my transition. So people would meet me and they're like, wow, you're so much more feminine in person, you know? And I'm like, yeah, cause I hadn't come out yet, you know? And I didn't want to take away people who fell in love with Carmen Carrera, the drag queen. I didn't want to take that away from them. I kept it under wraps and, you know, it caught up to me. Like people were asking like, well, your hair is grown out and you look a little curvier, like something's up, you know? So I came out as trans on my Facebook, my social media, on my YouTube. And I just documented the beginning parts of my transition. Before transitioning, going through what it feels like to have a chemical change where you know my testosterone levels are cut low and my estrogen levels are up high, I did gain a crazy emotional awareness that I never had before, you know? And in my experience, you know, basically going through puberty in your 20s, <laughs> you're gonna have your moments and you're freaking out. This is such a new feeling and you're so emotional and I have felt like, wait, I can't express this emotion because now does this make me an over-emotional woman? Like, is this a sign of weakness? It's absolutely not. I love the fact that I'm able to function and live and not be so in my mind, like be judging myself. And like, you know, it, it will drive you insane when you're not comfortable in your own skin.